Stevenson falls in their season opener today, 15-5 to Salisbury, with the head coach of the Mustangs, Coach Kathy Raley. Coach, um, you know, let's go through the good and the bad, right? And let's start with the good. Um, into the second half, tie game against mm-hmm. the number one team in the country, the defending national champions. Mm-hmm. Obviously, from there, did not go your no, way. It did not. Um, how do you reflect on, build off of the good, and, and how do you reflect on all of the bad? Well, I, I think that uh, we're very focused on, on everything that happens in a game that may not have a positive spin to it. We're going to really use those negatives or use those issues or challenges to make ourselves better. We're really trying to focus in on um, getting better with every minute. Today that didn't happen. We came out very energized. We came out very confident. Um, we went into the magic locker room and it evidently sucked every ounce of energy out of us uh, to the point where we just couldn't keep it together anymore. Um, you know, there were some really great things about today and there were some things that we can see we, we can work on now. And so it's, we got to look at it as a, as a helpful situation. So I, I just think that there was a change in tempo. I think that, that um, – Uh, We didn't get some calls when, you know, we're getting checked in the face and checked in the body, and we didn't get some calls, and I think that that there was some frustration with that that just kind of sapped the energy. So we'll go from there, Glenn. I mean, we got a lot to work with. Salisbury, when you're not doing everything right, they're going to make you look terrible. So, uh, you know, I was glad to have that challenge in the second half. Um, We'll be ready next week to rise to that kind of challenge. Let's again. Let's do good and bad, right? The good. Caroline scores four goals, picks up where she left mm-hmm. off. She's Caroline Murphy. We know right. what she can do. Right. The bad. There was one other goal, right? Yeah. And 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 not really a ton of great looks in there. Mm-hmm. What needs to happen offensively for more players to get involved and to get some better looks? Well, we have to execute our concepts, and uh, we did not today. And even in the first half, we were very clumpy. We were not working off ball well, and we were not following the game plan of what the play was. Uh, you know, when Carol had her looks, it was Carol with an exceptional play or an exceptional move or an exceptional shot. I think we ran the play well twice where we were able to hit a feeder situation where somebody's open, which is in the design. Um, as far as what the play design was, we did not execute it 90% of the time today. Um, and I can't really figure that out because we have all, pretty much all experienced players on the attack. So I don't know where the breakdown was. We talked about it at halftime. We talked about it at the quarters. Um, it just We talked about it at the timeout, and there was just very little work off ball in a way that made sense. So uh, we're not going to go back to the drawing board. We're going to try to really fine-tune what the concept is and how we're going to execute at a – we need to execute at a much higher level. Had we executed, I do believe that the game score would be extremely different had we executed when we had it. You did get to see a couple of your newcomers today. You did get to see, you know, Zimmer Mm -hmm. and and Van Enberg, a couple Mm -hmm. players. What did you see from those players, and how excited are you about what they can do as we get further along in the season? So so the biggest issue for the new players is they just have to get seasoned. They have to understand they're going to make mistakes, and it's not the end of the world. Uh, Today is a great example of a game where every single player we had made some mistakes. Mm -hmm. And to not crumble when that happens is a really great lesson for our freshmen. Um, you know, Kellyanne played great. Zim hustled every single time that she went in. We were able to go a little deeper with Katie and Maddie. Um, you know, I, I, I think that we did a really good job of getting kind of their feet wet with that. Um, and, but they're going to have to, if, if we're going to have a go, they're going to have to mature really quickly, know what the plays are, know how to execute the plays. Um, and uh, I did think they handled pressure pretty well as far as hands-on and, you know, that kind of thing. So that's good. All right. well, build, you build off what you can build off of, Absolutely. right? That's the way it works. Coach, we have a lot to build <laughs> off of. Okay, we have choices. <laughs> Time to do it is yeah. the important part. Uh, it's good to see you. you too. It's good that, uh, you know, it's lacrosse season. Yes, we indeed. like those things. Yes, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you back here in two weeks, Coach. Right. Thank Thanks you. for taking the time. Thank you. She's Kathy Raley. I'm Glenn Clark. Go MustangSports.com.